Hi there, in this video we're going to be doing long division with a pack of playing cards. We're going to need playing cards, scissors, a pen and a piece of paper. We're going to use this paper so that we can either write the questions to work it out first or we're going to be cutting out things to make it look nicer. So my question is for today, what is 15.36 divided by 3.2? So that's the question that we're wanting to work out today. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to cut out some decimal points for that question. We're going to use the playing cards to demonstrate the working out. I'm going to use um, an ace card for one, uh, and whenever I need to use a zero, I'm just going to use the back of a card. So we've got uh, 15 point. 3, 6, and then on this side we're going to have 3.2 because our question is 3.2 into 15.36. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just put in the uh, division line here that we normally use when we're working it out. I've done it with a straight line here just because it was a bit easier for me to cut it that way. So you can see it's visually looking like we're about to do working out. Now, don't forget, uh, when we're dividing, we need the divisor, the number right there on the left, has to be a whole number. So we're going to move the decimal over one, which means we're timesing it by 10. Whatever we do to that side, we have to do the opposite side as well. So we have to times this number by 10. So our new number is 32 into 153.6, or we, what we'd say is 153.6 divided by 32. Uh, I don't need this decimal anymore because it's invisible when there's no other number after the decimal point. So we're going to do 32 divided into 1 is 0. So if you can see I've put it uh, playing card back, back, backwards there. We're now going 32 into 15 and that is also 0. Now we're going to go 32 into 153, both all three numbers. Uh, and that equals 4. So uh, we know 32 times 4 uh, is 128. So now we need to subtract it. So I'm going to get out my paper and my trusty scissors, cut out a little subtraction bar, uh, and do a little line underneath it as well to make it look nice and neat. So our question is 153 take away 128. So we're going to go 3 take away 8. Uh, we can't do that. It's not enough. So we're going to need to regroup. We're going to go to 5 and make that a 4 and now make that 13. So we're going to go 13 take away 8 uh, and that equals 5. So we're going to put in a 5 and now remember that 5 over there is now 4 because we took 1 away to make it regroup. So it's 4 take away 2 and that is 2. So I'm going to put in the card number 2 there, and then 1 take away 1, remember because my 8 is just 1, is 0. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Um, so we now need to bring the next number down. So I'm going to need to draw up an arrow and cut it out to pop it in. So you can see here I'm cutting it out, uh, and then I'll pop it in so that we can finally bring down our number 6. Don't forget and we'll do this in a moment, but don't forget at this point we've just gone past the decimal, so we'll need to put that in the answer. So we've got 32 uh, uh, into 256, and that equals 8. Uh, and we know that if we do 32 times 8, that equals 256. So we put in 256, uh, and we know if we subtract that, uh, it'll get to zero. So here we are, we're subtracting it and we'll know that at the end we'll have no remainder. So that is excellent. So I'll just quickly put in that little line to make it look neat and we know that we have no remainder. And as I said before, don't forget to put the decimal in the answer once you've gone past the decimal in the question. So our answer is 4.8. Great. So that is us finished. We can look down and see all our working out is complete and have a great day today. Bye.